Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the Valorant error when 9003 error. This built of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. Right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here tpm.msc and hit the enter key. Now here in the tpm state, you need to click on the option clear tpm. Once you hit the restart button, your system will restart and it will clear the TPM of your system. Now you can see as it is already saying that the process will automatically continue. So make sure you restart your computer to clear the TPM. Now after restarting and clearing the TPM doesn't fix out the issue and you are still getting the error of this built of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. Let's proceed with the second step. In second step, you need to head over to your settings menu, scroll down and you will find the option of recovery. Click on it. And here you will find the option of advanced startup. You need to click on the option restart now to enter into the BIOS menu. I will go ahead and click on the option restart to enter into the BIOS menu of my PC. Now after the restart, you will screen a screen like this. Now here click on the troubleshoot option. Click on the advanced options over here and you will find the option of UMI firmware settings. Click on it. Again your computer will restart. Go ahead and click on it. Now depending on the type of system you have, you need to enter into the BIOS menu. My BIOS key is F10, so I will press the F10 key. So here is my BIOS menu. I will share the BIOS key for every PC in the description of this video. From here, switch to the security tab. Scroll down and make sure that TPM device must be enabled and TPM state must be enabled. Now in the boot options, you will find the option of secure boot. Here it is. Make sure secure boot option is enabled. No matter what it is, hit the enter key and disable it. Once disabled, you need to hit the F10 key. This will save the changes once you hit the enter key. So once you save the changes, again enter into the BIOS menu as it is. After entering into the BIOS menu, again head over to the same boot options which is available over here and then again hit the secure boot and turn it on. Once you turn it on, go ahead, save it by pressing the F10 key again and hit the enter key to save the changes and exit the BIOS menu. One more thing friends. If secure boot option is not available at your end, make sure you turn off the option CSM. If CSM is enabled, you will not be able to enable the secure boot. So in the same boot menu options, you will find the option of CSM. That's all you have to do. The work you have done is first disable the secure boot, save changes, restart your system. Again, head over to boot menu, enable secure boot again and disable the CSM mode in your windows. PC, save changes and restart your PC. This is all you have to do. That's all you have to do in order to fix the issue of this build of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. Now if all the method fails, the lastly you can do is to change your BIOS menu from legacy mode to UEFI mode right into your BIOS menu by going into your boot options and it will completely fix out the issue of your VAN 9003 error. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix the issue of this built of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving the updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.